Good afternoon. Thanks very much for dialing in. It's uh, Billy here from Social Media Search. Um, I'm the, the Research and Sourcing Manager um, here at uh, Social Media Search. Um, and what I want to talk about today uh, is uh, give you some hints and tips uh, and some advice um, for sourcing uh, from sites that, that maybe aren't your, your traditional sites that you would recruit um, or find information on candidates from. So, um, you know, moving away from perhaps relying relying on LinkedIn, uh, for example, um, for searching. Um, I'll give you some hints and tips. Um, I'll cover up a, a kind of few different areas um, over the next 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, I'll have the chat box open, so um, I have muted the line just to keep any background noise um, away. Um, so um, I will keep an eye on the chat box. So um, if you do have any problems um, hearing what I'm saying, or if you do have any questions, then please do um, just uh, drop me a message um, using the chat function uh, and I'll be happy to um, to help where I possibly can. So um, alternative sites, why, why do we, um, we um, source from um, or look at sourcing from alternative sites rather than using LinkedIn? Um, there's a couple of reasons um, why. The, the first one is we, we have became very reliant on LinkedIn as a sourcing tool. A lot of uh, our rec recruiters, uh, both agency and um, direct sourcing, um, do kind of think it's the be all and end all um, of recruitment when it's actually not um to, to quote and uh, you know a stat from from LinkedIn um there's approximately fifteen million users um in the UK um on LinkedIn but the working population within the UK is is um, in the region of thirty to, to thirty two million uh, around about that mark. So around about the kind of forty uh, 47, 50 percent mark of people working in the UK um, are on LinkedIn. Um, what's particularly important for the, the retail and leisure industries um, is actually the, the majority of people who are on LinkedIn as well are generally either professionals um, rather than working in, um, you know, what, what would be deemed to be, um, you know, unskilled roles. Um, or um, have um, you know um, you know progress and are now more senior and, and are perhaps at manager manager level above in the retail consumer and leisure industries. So um, if we are looking at you know people who um, are, are working in in different um, working at lower levels than LinkedIn, to be honest with you, as much as you will find some people um, on LinkedIn, you're you're not going to find a high volume. So it's definitely worthwhile taking a look at other sites. So. Um, Let's think about the, the other sites that we can use. Um, first of all, I'll, I'll, I'll very quickly just talk about Facebook. Um, I'm just going to log into Facebook um, for a second. Facebook's a really, really powerful um, one. I do run a dedicated webinar on on, um, on Facebook, so I'm not going to go into it in too much detail today. You, you will get an invite for the Facebook one, um, so you could perhaps dial in um, to that, and um, that, that'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, I'm, I'm currently on the Facebook page um, just now. If you can't see the Facebook page, then please drop me a note um, and just let you know that you should you should now be able to see that. Um, and um, there's a really, really great search tool um, called Facebook Graph Search. That's built in at the top of the page here, um, just where I'm hovering over for where it says Find Friends. Um, and if I wanted to find people on Facebook um, who, for example, were working in retail, then I could um, type uh, a very basic search, such as uh, people who work um, as um, store um, assistants, for example. Um, okay, let's not pick that up, so I'll bear with me a second. Work um, as retail. There we go. So people who work as retail assistants um, in Glasgow, um, just for talking's sake. Um, I can run that search. Just hit return. <clears throat> and there we can see it's brought up a list of people um, who match um, that, that search. You know, you've got various people, people that work for Primark, people that work for House of Fraser, people who work for Tiso, people for people who work for Penguin. So um, there, there are a lot of, of people that are working for the brand names who have loaded that information onto our profile. The majority of these people, um, you know, I will take Claire McDermott, um, you know, I'll use this person as our first example. The, the chances are she isn't going to be on LinkedIn. I'm just going to double check that though. I'm just going to move back. <clears throat> and double check that. 
But what you will find is a majority of people when you run this type of search aren't going to be on face or on LinkedIn. We, d we do find that there's a varying quality um, of um, profile on Facebook. Some people do load quite a lot of information about themselves on, um, some people don't. We, we do find people who are working in unskilled roles or lower level roles actually will, will put information um, onto their profile are more, more likely um, to, to actually put, uh, put information onto a profile perhaps than someone that's a bit more senior. So it's a bit kind of opposite from, from the way um, that LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn works. That's not a hard, hard and fast rule, but that's just based on, uh, based on the profiles we see uh, and based on, based on the information um, that we can find. So, um, okay, um, so um, that, that's using Facebook. And as I said, that's a dead simple approach, first of all, um, to, to doing that. Um, I do run a dedicated webinar, a dedicated 30 minute uh, webinar on this, so please you know, dial into that and, and you'll be able to find information on our, our uh, YouTube channel as well about that. That will give you a bit more information. So that's Facebook, so that, that's definitely something that we can be looking at. Um, how, how then do we, do, do we identify other, other sites and, and um, other, other keywords perhaps? Um, or sorry, well, in fact, I'll concentrate first of all on identifying other sites. A way that I tend to identify other sites is by looking at the keywords that people are actually using um, on social media channels. I've just found this really, really good tool uh, that I really like. Um, it's called Sonar Bottlenose. Um, and what this does <coughs> is um, it lets you put in some keywords um, into it. Uh, and then what it will do is it will actually bring back other matching words and other matching phrases um, that it finds, that the tool finds that have been spoken about on Twitter. Twitter's real time. It talks a lot, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's very up to date. Um, it talks about um, information as people saying it. And, and what this, this tool does is lets you find um, information related to other keywords. So, for example, if I said, um, you know, retail, just for talking's sake, then I can hit search. <clears throat> and what that's going to do is it's going to find trends, it's going to find keywords. Um, let's see, is it bringing up anything? Let's, whoops, that was me a second. Um, see if, oh, let's see for retail manager and see if it brings up any results. And this could give me um, give me ideas and, and give me suggestions for other store words that I could be using. So um, it's, um, let's see, is there anything there that's particularly relevant? Um, okay, so yeah, retail store manager, uh, talking about companies that are hiring, um, jobs, training, um, T-Mobile. Um, okay, so it's, it's not giving us a massive amount of relevant information on this one, but that is a very, very basic search. And that, that is one way of, of finding out various keywords and what people are talking about um, related to your industry. Um, you could then take those keywords and then do a Google search um, to find maybe sites where people are then talking about this and talking about about the key topics. So it may be that that you know maybe tomorrow it will change. Maybe people retail manage or people that are talking about retail managers will also be talking about something else. Um, so um, you could then take that information, run a Google search, and that would potentially lead you to sites. Um, uh, and it would also give you actually something relevant to talk to your candidates about and, and then engage with them, engage with them about. Um, so, how else could we find other sites? Well, you know, what, what I would suggest you to, <coughs> excuse me, um, is, is think about the different categories um, of websites that you might be able to look at and that you might actually be able to find people on. So, we obviously have social social media. I've, I've spoken briefly about Facebook. Um, you could um, look at um, other sites. I've spoken briefly about Twitter. Um, you know, finding people on Twitter um, who are talking about certain things is, is, is really really straightforward. Um, I, I use a tool called Follower Wonk. Um, you can see the URL. Um, Follower Wonk. If I, if I go into Follower Wonk, then what it lets you do is actually sign in um, and then search Twitter um, and search both profiles um, and um, activity on Twitter. So I'm just going to log in using my own Twitter account. You don't actually need to log into it um, to use it, but you know I, I recommend you do because it will personalise the results a little bit more and it will save things um, for you. Um, this is a really really quick and easy way of of looking at Twitter um, and um, finding people that, that that can be relevant. We've got at the top here we've got search search Twitter bios, compare users, analyze followers, track followers. I'm just going to search Twitter bios. I can then search on more options. 
UK and say that I wanted to search for retail manager in Glasgow. Then I could search retail manager. I can search Glasgow <clears throat> and then hit search or hit do it. You just give it a minute. That's going to look at Twitter biographies in Glasgow. A little bit slow today. Give it a little bit second. Sorry about the delay here. Okay, and I can see here it's actually brought up people that are matching this um, in Glasgow. So we've got retail managers, people who are studying retail managing, people who are talking uh, talking about retail, um, living in Glasgow, retail manager, um, sleep deprived retail management. Um, so lots and lots of information, uh, sorry, lots and lots of profiles there that could potentially be suitable for the role. And that's a very, very basic search. How, what, what do you then do with that information? Well, um, in this case, what I'd do, let's say you know you did want to target um, who we've got, we've got um, we a retail manager, how's the Fraser there, don't we? Somewhere, um, give me a second. Sorry, I'm not. That now. There was somebody from House of Favour, Fraser, but say we wanted to target that person, well, what we could do is using, say you had a careers page set up, a careers Twitter page, you could then follow that person um, and ask, um, ask them to follow you back. Um, that would be certainly uh, be one way um, of <coughs> um, getting in touch with them or at least getting their attention um, as well. But once you've identified that person, to be honest with you, um, if they're on one social network, then there's a good chance that they're going to be on another social network as well. So there wouldn't be any, any reason why you couldn't find that person on Facebook and send them a paid message um, on Facebook. Um, you know, wouldn't be any, any reason why you couldn't find them on, say, Google Plus and send them a message, um, you know, through that using Google Hangouts. Um, lots and lots of different options um, once, once you've found people um, um, on, on one site, the chances are you'll be able to, to find them somewhere else. And sometimes, to be honest with you, engaging with someone um, through, um, you know, through, through another site like Twitter um, or Facebook instead of using LinkedIn, that can be a really powerful way and it can be a really useful way um, of getting someone's attention um, and uh, getting, uh, getting engagement where if you send them just an email or say a LinkedIn message, then you might not be able to engage with that person um, in, in, a, in a kind of similar kind of way. So that, that's that's Twitter, and I can you know I can do even if, if I wanted to do you know say for the leisure industry or hospitality, if I wanted to do say you know a chef um, in Edinburgh, then I could do that for example. Um, really flexible, um, and what you'll find is that diff different searches will bring you different types of results. I don't have that many results there for retail manager um, in Glasgow, but actually if I search chef. Again, in profiles in Edinburgh, I've got more. I've actually got 211 results here, um, rather than um, you know the the 20, uh, 20 odd that I had for for retail manager. So it's about playing about with it and finding the best results. The other thing you can do, um, you know, on here is just specifically say I only want to search bios or I I only want to search uh, search profiles. Okay, so um, you do have a little bit. Um, of uh, flexibility there and the type of searches that you can do. You can search for people that have only got a certain number of followers or following and you know, uh, people with a minimum and a maximum number of tweets and that might be that you, you only really want to identify um, people who um, are active, for example, on Twitter. Um, then, then that's certainly, certainly some way of doing it. Uh, sorry, one way of doing it. So, so that's Twitter. That's um, you know one of the ways. There, there are loads of different ways that you can use Twitter. Um, loads of different ways that you can search uh, Twitter. Um, but um, it's um, you know have a play about with that first of all, and then you can find that there's some information on my blog about how else you can use Twitter. There's things like list management. Um, there's um, saved searches. There's lots and lots of different things that you can do on Twitter um, that, that may may actually benefit you benefit you further. So um, what other kind of sites um, can we look at? Well, um, as I said, I, I do like um, kind of um, doing, doing Google searches to find random, jo uh, random sites and find sites that people are using nowadays. Um, I always recommend Google um, as, your, as your primary search engine. Um, it lets you search, uh, sorry, save all your searches if you want. It lets you 
change the number of results that you can actually see um, see on the Google search page. Um, there's lots and lots of flexibility. It lets you, um, you know, very quickly change the, the date range of the search that you're doing just to pull in um, searches that have happened, uh, sorry, uh, results that have just been added to the site. You know, so say I, I um, you know, I only wanted to search for retail um, in Glasgow, then I could just search retail. That's a very, very basic search, and that's going to bring up things like Wikipedia. It's going to bring up news, um, you know, because like the Tesco is going to bring up a lot of information there um, that's maybe not relevant. I could then change the search tools, um, and then I could change it to any country. So I could change that just to the UK, so that only brings back British results. Um, I could then change it to uh, results that have been added in index by Google in the past week, for example. Um, and that, that's just giving me a lot of information um, about retail um, that, that's relevant and important. But actually, do you know what's really good? It's given me websites where there may be people um, there who are actually talking about retail, and i.e. there might be candidates within there. So um, Retail Week, uh, we could use that for an example. Keep click on here. I'm just going to open up Retail Week for one of them. That's a really good trade press. Obviously, all the kind of mainstream press, the Telegraph Times, they're all talking about about things as well. Um, oh, there's a good one, Entertainment Retailers, Retailers Association. There might be information on there. And then we've got Retail Gazette. So by doing a Google search um, on retail, it's picked up the sites that are active at the moment, rather than bringing you back information um, that's maybe out of date or, or bringing out websites that, that aren't that important. Um, so um, we can have a look at this. Um, I, I honestly have gotten, I've never looked at the retail week site, I don't think, before in my life. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to find here. Um, let's take a little look and see. Um, OK, so we've got a comment section within here. I don't know whether this is a forum um, or what it is. Um, it's comments, it's blogs. OK, brilliant. And say I wanted to say, I'm going to look at the mother care blog. Here, and I need to log in, but what I'll probably find is once I've signed up to that um, and once I'm using it, then I'll probably be able to see people that are commenting on that blog. So that would be one way of finding out people, and, and it may give you names and it may give you information um, about about people, um, you know, about, about the people who are commenting on on things that are relevant to their industry. So that that's a good good one to start off with. Um, that's Retail Week. Um, let's just take a look at the next one. Um, again, I've never been on the Entertainment Retailers Association um, site, so I don't really know um, how useful that it actually is. It may be that, again, there's comments. Let's have a look at the news page. Okay, so there's some relevant stuff there. It's hot group and proper music. Let's have a look, see if there's any comments. Okay, so there's no comments page, but it's given us a lot of information. That's good. What I have picked up on, though, is that actually I've got the, the Twitter feed for ERA. So I could actually go into that Twitter feed. Whoops, sorry, I clicked on the wrong, wrong link there. Oops, sorry, hang on. It's not getting into that Twitter feed. Third time lucky. Nope, very strange. Give me a second. Oops. I'm going to do it this way. So because I've got the Entertainment Retailers Association, I've, I've got the Twitter feed for the Entertainment Retailers Association, and that's got 443 followers. The chances are, because it is Entertainment Retail, that the 433 followers there, there's going to be some relevant people uh, within that. So let's have a look and see. Um, so uh, I've got retail people. So uh, have we got any retail people? Some quite bizarre. So we're getting quite people people from PR as opposed to working um, in retail. Uh, we've got a managing director at Sunram UK. Um, we've got um, let's see who else we've got. Anything interesting here? Um, a lot of music people. If you're if you're re recruiting for music retail, then yeah, that could be useful for you. Okay, not a massive amount of relevant contacts in there, but that that just shows you. Um, how you can join the dots and how you can link, link it up. I, I call it following the breadcrumbs. Once I've got one little piece of information um, about something, then I can generally find something else and that might give me a lead and that might give me somewhere else where I can start to, to look for people. 
So um, that that's um, one one way of finding and sourcing alternative sites. Um, I'm just going to look at the sub site that I found there from that Google search. We've got the Retail Gazette. Um, again, we've got the Facebook and Twitter pages there. So um, Facebook, you could go on and you could look at the likes um, on the Retail Gazette page. Um, on the Facebook page, um, and see you know who likes that, who's commented on things. Um, let's have a look at the people like so Kath Kidston. Um, someone's talking about them. There's three people like that. There's somebody called Sam Barbagallo. Click on that and see if you can find out inform any information about this person. Okay. He's not got any work history, um, and he's actually in Australia. By the looks of things, so. Um, not not entirely relevant, uh, but um, just another example. You could from one website, you could get to to another page that, that gives you gives you other information, um, um, and gives you. In fact, that's quite out of date actually. That website, so probably not the best one um, to be to be using. Um, although saying that though, there are some relevant articles, some recent articles. So their their Facebook page is out of date. Their, their home page um, is still pretty relevant. Let's click on that person's Twitter. Sorry, this company's Twitter. Okay, they've got a lot more followers, which is really good. So they seem to be seem to be quite popular. Um, so there's nine thousand nine hundred and three followers. So you could look through that and see if there's anyone relevant um, for the vacancy that that you're actually looking for. Um, so um, that that's um, you know a couple of different ways you're finding relevant sites for the industry. You're then looking at those sites. Are those sites containing any information that allows you to search for candidates? If not, then take a look at the other sites that they're connected to. Take a look at their social media sites. Take a look at their Twitter. Take a look at their LinkedIn, uh, sorry, their Facebook pages uh, and see what information you can glean from there. From there. And, and, and what else could we do? Um, you know, you know, what other searches? Well, well, you know, we could do a thing called an X-ray search. Um, I, you know, we could, for example, do X-ray searches on those pages on the Retail Gazette page that we've been talking about to see if we can find um, any information um, that's relevant to candidates. And to do that, um, I'll go to the Retail Gazette page um, and I'll just run run an example of that. Okay, last me a moment. Okay, if I wanted to run an X-ray search against the Retail Gazette page, then I can do site, I can do colon, www.retailgazette.co.uk, and say I wanted to find anything that matched the term store manager. Just in case, it might give me the names of, of, of some store managers that have maybe been recently appointed. It might give me um, movers and shakers. What it's doing there is it's actually just bringing up the jobs pages. Okay, I don't want any jobs in this. That's called a false positive. It's bringing me back results that aren't relevant to the search. In this case, what I could do is I could do I can tell Google, okay, I don't want to bring back any pages that are about jobs. So I can see that all the jobs pages do actually have the word jobs and the URL and the and the page address. So I could actually say to Google, okay, minus in URL and then type in the words jobs. And that means that um, uh, Google won't bring me back any pages from the Retail Gazette pages that have got the word jobs and the URL. I hit search. Give it a second. Okay, and there we go. It's actually bringing me back lots of information. It's bringing me back, there we go, as a retail Q&A. So um, let's have a look there. Um, Bring me back duty store managers. That's jobs more. Um, telling me about store openings. Um, bring me back the names. There's the name of a store manager in Kent, Alfred Quatchy, who owns a new co-op store in, in Kent. Um, so you can see that it is actually bringing me back names um, of people who are currently working as managers this is, um, and, and retail. This is a really good example. So we've got a chap here who is uh, Wayne Wayne Veal. He's a well, an area training manager in Iceland. Um, where's it picked up the words retail manager from? I don't know. Let's see. Now, bizarrely, it's actually incorrectly picked up the phrase retail manager in the Google search. I'm not too sure why, um, to be honest. Um, it could be picking up maybe an advert or a job or something like that um, from that page as well. But it has. It just shows you the type of information that is contained within trade press, is, is contained within the website. So if you um, and you can very quickly get to that information by by using an X-ray search. Uh, what other sites um, could you look at? So we've looked at TradePress. Um, 
there's another couple of sites um, that, that I'd recommend that you consider. You could look at Meetup. Um, Meetup is a site um, that, that allows you to um, <clears throat> excuse me um, that allows you to look at events that are running in, in your local area, um, and it could be that there um, could be that there, there is um, you know topics and, and groups that are actually relevant. Um, to your industry that you're recruiting in. So, um, for example, I could type in site um, again using the exact same thing using um, the uh, sorry using the site operator, the X-ray um, operator. You can see I've run another few recently there for uh, more technical vacancies. But I could do site, I could do meetup.com, I could do retail, and I could do London. Okay. And this is my search, my starter for 10, just to see, is there any pages that are containing both retail and London? Okay, um, so we've got Hack the Rack, a retail hackathon, so that's a developer's site. Let's see, let's have a look. look. CTAC uh, data, so there's a lot, of, um, <clears throat> a lot of information here about more, maybe more technical people, people that are involved in computer science and programming. Successful retail startups, okay, here we go. That looks really good. So we've maybe got people here, entrepreneurs, people that are starting up stores. Um, let's have a look. Cool. Um, yeah, we do. And then we can actually click on, sometimes people change the terminology. Normally they're called members. They've called them happy shoppers, but I'll click on the members tab so I'm just not complicating things here. Um, and actually I can see um, a lot of information about the people. So you've got budding entrepreneurs, people that are starting up their own shops, um, people with a background in import and export, um, a founder of George Bailey, so um, people that are starting up organisations, um, people that are trying to sell into that space as well, so finance people, um, technology people, um, yeah, loads and loads, brilliant profiles here, someone, an owner, an e-commerce, um, retail website owner, okay, so, and, and that's just a, you know, scraping the surface of the website, that's me ran a very basic search against that site to find if there's any any underlying information there that, that would give me give me a bit of hope that there is going to be more information contained there. In this case, yes, there is, there definitely is. So I would then spend a little bit more time searching through the Meetup site to see if there is any more people in, or any more relevant sites that I can actually find. <clears throat> okay, so um, I've covered off Facebook today, covered off Twitter. Um, and I've covered off ways of, of using the X-ray search, using the site search um, to um, to find, um, or sorry, using Google search first of all to find sites that might be relevant, and then using the X-ray search, using the site operator to then X-ray search those sites to start um, you uh, on the path to finding information, relevant information that might lead you to to other candidates. Um, we have recorded this webinar, so we'll make sure that it's um, available online for you. Uh, we'll get that posted up and we'll get the information out to you as soon as possible, but please do. If you've got any questions, please do get in touch with me. You can get in touch um, either by um, email, LinkedIn, or uh, I do, I'm on Twitter a fair amount, so probably best to ask me a question on Twitter. You can find me at, uh, at Billy McDermott. Um, but thanks very much for dialing in. Uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and uh, I'll speak to you very, very soon.